Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the latest home video review from us here at Flick Direct. And for today's home video review, I'm here talking to you guys about the last VMware on DVD. In case of you guys are wondering if there is a blurry version of this film, there is, however, it is only online on demand. So for the sake of this review, we're gonna be talking about the DVD version of the film. In case if you guys did not catch the last VMware while I was out in theaters like myself, I actually saw this film on home video because this was one of those movies that just went under my radar. To give you guys the basic plot gist of the last VMware, the last VMware follows a soldier who investigates a renowned Dutch artist, Han Vermergen. I'm pretty sure that has butchered his name to high heaven right there. But in the film, he is played by Guy Pearce as he has been accused of conspiring with the Nazis. On to my review of this movie, like I mentioned to you all earlier, if I had heard of this movie, I must have forgotten about it in the blink of an eye because this was a movie that must have gone in way underneath my radar. And honestly, this was a movie I didn't really have a lot of expectations for and I'm happy to say that I really enjoyed this film. The acting in this movie is really well done. I mean, Guy Pearce steals the entire movie. I mean, Guy Pearce is one of the best actors out there. I was really into the story to see the investigation of this renowned artist because he is a guy that is a forger. And given the particular history of this character, I was actually really invested in this entire story. I also really like the cinematography, the costume design, the sets, the music. This was surprisingly, at least for me, a really well done drama, even though I will say, I feel like given the character, given the real life person, they didn't quite capitalize on the full potential of this movie to make it even better than it actually was. Getting right into the audio and video quality, starting off with the video quality, The Last Fear Mirror on DVD is presented on an aspect ratio of 1.85 by 1. And I gotta tell you guys, I was quite surprised by how good this movie looked. Now, here is the thing. This is on DVD and 480. But I gotta say, for a 480 movie, this looks pretty decent. You're not gonna get the sharpened color spectrum as you would on Blu-ray or even 4K for that matter. However, the DVD version of this film still looks pretty nice. The colors still look very, very good. There is still enough detail in the costumes and the designs. The cinematography does still shine through. The black levels look pretty decent. The shadows look really, really good. When it comes to the daytime scenes, that is when the color spectrum truly does pop out. However, when it comes to the nighttime sequences, it doesn't quite look as good, but it still looks pretty decent. Despite it being on DVD, it is pretty darn good looking for DVD. Getting right into the audio quality, The Last Fear Mirror is on a Dolby Digital 5.1 audio track, and I gotta say, this film sounds pretty darn good. Don't expect to be blown away by the audio quality of this film. This is primarily an actors-based movie. However, with that being said, the movie sounds really freaking good. The dialogue sounds well mixed. The ambiance sounds very good. The film's sweeping score at times especially is terrific. They do some really nice things in terms of when cars go from left to right, having some very subtle touches there. Later in the film when there are more crowd-like scenes, there are some nice touches in terms of the crowd audio that I was not expecting otherwise. The sound quality, the audio quality for the Dolby Digital 5.1 is really freaking good. On to the special features, The Last Fear only has one thing included, and that is the trailer for the film. That is it. All in all, what we have here is a really well-made drama, even though it doesn't take fully advantage of the story that it has to tell. Also, good video quality, good audio quality with the trailer, so I would definitely say, guys, pick this movie up. I hope you guys enjoyed my home video review of The Last Fear Mirror. If so, please hit that like button, also share, and don't forget the subscribe button and the notification bell for whenever the latest video from us goes live. If you guys want to see any of our previous two home video reviews, please click on the right there or right there. And of course, until our next home video review, we'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, guys.